Today we're gonna to be talking about Jacksepticeye, a positive mental attitude, and a gorilla? What is up everybody? This is Chris from The Rewired Soul, where we talk about the problem, but focus on the solution. And if you are new to my channel, my channel is all about improving your mental health. So if you're into that kind of stuff, make sure you subscribe, hit that notification bell. So today we are gonna be talking about Jack Septicai, all right? I was first introduced to Jack from my son, uh, hearing him crack up watching YouTube. I'm like, what is happening? And Jack is this, you know, very charismatic guy who plays video games and he's pretty funny. So recently, I've seen Jack pop more up on YouTube just falling into my realm, which is mental health. So Jack kind of blew up, and it's also a misconception of the story, but he kind of blew up after PewDiePie gave him a shout out. And it's really interesting. Uh, I listened to his uh, podcast with H3H3, and his, his when he blew up, it wasn't even like an explosion. He got to like 20,000 subscribers, but then he hustled and worked hard, and he got to like, I think he's like, like 20 million now. So a lot of that was all him. And basically, he got burnt out, like a lot of YouTubers are lately. He got burnt out, he was doing two videos a day, and he put up a video where he said like, yo, I gotta take a break for a little while. Like, he even got to a point where he hadn't left his house in two weeks, and like, that sucks, man. Um, and like, I love Jack because he's a good person. Like, something that I aspire to do and one of the reasons I wanna grow this channel is something that Jack does. He does a, a monthly live stream where he donates all the money to charity and that's super cool. Like once a month, he dedicates a day to raising money for some type of charity. That's awesome. I wanna do that someday when I get bigger and can actually raise some money. But anyways, so Jack went on this little mental health break and he, he seems a lot better. Recently, he was on the H3H3 podcast. He also did a video with uh, the other mental health YouTuber, Katie Morton, who's also a therapist. And something that he's been talking about lately, and he also has a shirt that represents it, is having a positive mental attitude. And he has a shirt that says PMA on it, and he sells this shirt, right? And it's interesting because as I saw him doing this, like I'm not a huge fan of like the secret, you know, and stuff like that. And as I see him talking about this, I'm like, oh boy, like what's this all about? But he explains it great. And he talks about how like, you know, especially if you're struggling with depression or anxiety, like when you're depressed, like it seems like there's a dark cloud everywhere you go, everything is negative and terrible and awful and everything's meaningless, right? Or when you're in anxiety, everything's worrisome and everything like that. Like basically Jack's talking about how it's a reminder to him. This whole PMA thing, it's a reminder to him so when he's in that dark headspace when he's when he's acting like that or thinking like that like it reminds him to get a more positive outlook right kind of like that whole glass is half full glass is half empty thing we got going on and now you're sitting here and you're like chris we're like three minutes into this video what does this have to do with a gorilla well i am glad you asked so Let's talk about how reasonable this is. If you're somebody who struggles with anxiety or depression, how reasonable is it to have a positive mental attitude? So let's go back in time a little over a decade ago. There was a guy by the name of Dr. Daniel Simmons, okay? So what he's famous for is he did this experiment, all right? He took people and put them in a room and he had them watch this video, okay? You had a team who was in white shirts and a team who was in black shirts. And each of the people in this experiment, they were given a responsibility, okay? They said, see how many times the team in the white shirts passes the basketball. And then over here, you see how many times the people in the black shirts pass the basketball. Sounds simple enough, and surprisingly, most of them got it right. They can count hallelujah, all right? But after the experiment, Dr. Daniel Simmons, he's like, hey, did you notice anything abnormal in that video? They're like, no. They're like, you didn't notice anything at all. And they're like, no, what are you talking about? They're like, you didn't notice a gorilla. And they're like, Dr. Daniel Simmons, what you talking about? And they didn't. So in the video, when the teams were passing around this basketball, there's a guy who walks through in a gorilla costume, pauses in the middle, pounds on his chest, and then walks off, and people didn't notice this. And they were like, what? And they replayed the video, the exact same video, they just rewound the tape, played it again, and boom, there it was. There was that gorilla that they missed. So what happened? What happened? Well, from this experiment, branched a ton of other experiments, and what they realized was that our brain 
our mind it focuses on whatever we tell it to, all right? So this is a huge discovery when it comes to mental health. See, Dr. Daniel Simmons, he is not like an optometrist, he's actually a psychologist. So they did more studies and they found that people who focus on the negative, they are more prone to see the negative. People who focus on the positive are more prone to focus on the positive. So you can actually train your brain to have a positive mental attitude. So so something like what Jack Septica is doing, this reminder of having a positive mental attitude, he's actually rewiring his brain. And how do we know this? There's something called neuroplasticity, okay? I did a video a long time ago about the science of hopelessness. Neuroplasticity is backed by science. What this means is the brain is constantly changing. They used to think way back in the day that by the time you were like in your 20s or maybe even your late teens, your brain was exactly the same, it was going to stay that way for the rest of your life, that's not true at all. No matter what you've been through, no matter how old you are, no matter what happens in the future, your brain is constantly changing, all right? So you, you, yeah you, I'm talking to you, you, starting today, you can start training your brain to have a positive mental attitude. So my suggestion to you is, is have something that reminds you, okay? Whether it's something like Jack Septic's eyes shirt that says PMA, maybe it could be a bracelet or a wristband. I'll give you the best one of them all is a gratitude list that you write down every single day. When you are forcing your brain, when you're training this muscle, you will begin to see symptoms of anxiety and depression begin to lessen. Now, I won't say that this is going to cure you, but even if your life gets 1% better, that's a lot better than it used to be, all right? So that's all I got for you today. I would love to know your comments down below. What are you going to do to start training your mind to have a positive mental attitude? All right, let's have a discussion down below. But that's all I got. Thanks so much for watching. And if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you're new here, I'm always making videos like this to help you out with your mental and emotional well-being. Go ahead and click the subscribe button, ring the notification bell, all right? And a huge thank you to everybody supporting the channel over on Patreon. And if you would like to help me spread a message of hope, you can click on the Patreon icon right there, all right? That's all I got for you today. Thanks for watching. Have a positive mental attitude, and I'll see you next time.